Hi guys, I'm Matthew and today on TechBase we're going to be changing our old computer's thermal paste on the processor and see how long it should take for you to change your thermal paste. We're going to see the temperature difference and the previous and after we change our thermal paste and see if you should change yours in half a year, two years, whatever. Doesn't matter, we're going to see that. Let's go. Okay, so we got the basic test bench set up over here. So this is going to be our computer that we're going to be doing this on. And this is, as you can see, a dusty old computer. It's been used for quite a while, but we do change the paste regularly. In this case, we haven't changed it for half a year. So we're going to clean the PC now and uh, change the thermal paste. But first, we're going to run it heavy load program and see what attempts are without changing thermal paste. So with an old one in it, uh, I mean, we've got two fans on the CPU right now, but I don't know if you guys are using one fan, that should make a difference. So let's see. So I'm gonna run the heavy load now and we're gonna be able to see So the test is done, our heavy load is loaded our CPU with a 67 degrees Celsius. That is the max that we came with this CPU. And now we're going to clean the computer, change the thermal paste and we'll see what the temperatures are going to be then. Let's go. So you know when I said that we have a dusty PC? Well, it, right here we have whole layers, paper of dust. So. Uh, I think the temp should be pretty awesome when we clean it. Look at this. Damn. It usually doesn't get this bad when it comes to dust, but in LJ's case, with an open computer case, it gets pretty nasty. Same with this. The fans are clean, and now for the thermal paste. LJ has a special way of reapplying the thermal paste. So the PC got cleaned. I mean, we basically just cleaned the fans and the radiator because we don't really need anything else for the temperatures. And we're gonna put the heavy load in now and see how it does. So this is the taste after the change thermal paste and the temperatures decreased for about a 15 degrees Celsius, which is quite a lot. As you can see, we got a high of 54 degrees and a low of 33. Of course, before it was low of 31, but that doesn't matter. The high was 60, what, seven before? So yeah, I think the paste really did a lot. As you can see, we're still running the test and the temperatures are currently on 50 to 52 degrees So for the conclusion Should you really change your thermal paste every half a year and clean your PC? Well, I think you shouldn't but in my case With my case actually no case it's an open case with no dust filters and the dust just pops on the radiator so in our case the biggest problem was the dust but the change thermal paste helped too. So hope you liked the video. Hope you learned something new. We sure did. So please share, like, subscribe. I'm nervous here. Matches behind the camera. He made me do the outro. Ah!